Goran Scares, everybody. This is uh, William Pattison, a.k.a. Eric Morris. And I'm over here at uh, San Francisco International Airport uh, getting ready to catch my flight to Indianapolis for Days of the Dead. So, uh, anyways, yeah, yeah, it's been an interesting morning. I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning to get ready for this and got through uh, the security just fine. And so I'm on my way to Indianapolis. Well, I made it to Indianapolis. It was a very shaky ride, and I had to, uh, you know, have a stopover in Denver, Colorado, which was uneventful, but you know how it is. Anyways, uh, in a little while, I'm going to uh, get a shuttle and head over to the... Uh, hotel and then we'll get to uh, meet Mr. Derek Young. Alrighty, I will catch you in a bit. Well, it's me again, Mr. Cameraman extraordinaire Eric Morris and I'm finally here at the Wyndham Hotel and I'm just about ready to call Derek and see if uh, you know, he can uh, come and take me to the room. But first, I want to give you a little look-see at the lobby here. It is really nice, even though it's a small lobby. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to uh, call Derek and... Uh, then we can have the amazing meeting. Alrighty. I will catch you later again. The fire of lies The souls of the 
Gold just finally got to the convention. Uh, Derek finally showed up and picked me up out in the lobby. Thank God. Um, so anyways, I want to show you the table and I want to show you our special guests that we have here. There we go. There's our table. And there's Wayne. Say hi, Wayne. And there's Wayne's kids, who are who are famous here. Yeah. I mean, y'all recognize Wayne's son from from the poster. Yeah. And here's his daughter. She's she's playing the female Jason. Give us a yeah. <laughs> So, anyways, yeah, and we got all kinds of goodies for for the fans. So, we're doing pretty good here. Alrighty, I am going to check out for now, and um, we'll catch you in a little bit. Little did I know that I was going to be eating my words by the end of the uh, convention. The fact was that management had stuck us as well as the guys from uh, Night of Living Dead in the vendors area. And the vendors area was at the end of a cavernous uh, thing. You had to go through the mainline actors, then the uh, independent actors just to get here. So usually by the time people actually got to the vendors area, they had spent most of their money and, uh, you know, they were not, uh, you know, overly enthusiastic about getting autographs. It seemed like the only people who were actually making a good amount of money were the people selling t-shirts and the people who were uh, selling DVDs. That was because they were giving people some really good deals on them. You know, it would be like, uh, you know, three t-shirts for $20 or, uh, you know, buy three DVDs, uh, for twenty dollars and you know so they were actually making money I mean you know what was funny is we were sitting next to uh, Fangoria magazines table and they were selling like these uh, back issues and they were selling these uh, t-shirt bags you know which were Fangoria t-shirts that had been uh, changed uh, and they weren't selling at all. This is this is one of the more unfortunate uh, casualties. This lady made these absolutely wonderful dolls, uh, the creepy dolls, and she hardly sold any of them. Uh, here's one of the few booths that actually had uh, action figures, and he had very few action figures, and... Um, you know that's what people really wanna wanna get is they want to get the dolls and stuff. And hi, ladies and gentlemen, him? and here's Mr. Derek Young. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> ready to pass out? He is ready to pass out. So, and there's Mr. Chris Ryland. Alrighty, so there we go. Alrighty, it's me again, and this is Saturday morning, and I just wanted to show you this hallway. I mean, this is definitely one that um, they should have in a film, because, I mean, this is a long-ass hallway, and it reminds me of something from The Shining. So here, take a look at this. You'll be amazed. Whoa. I mean, you tell me. I mean, last night, I was walking down this thing, and it freaked the hell out of me. So, anyways, I'm just getting ready to go down and 
We're going to be doing autographs and stuff in about another two hours. So, fun, fun, fun. Alrighty. Alrighty, here's a, a little uh, thing that you hardly ever see when it comes to a con. The actual setup. So, we're sitting here, I'm sitting here at the uh, Midnight Matinee Psycho Eric Morris uh, table. And everybody's around here getting set up for for the day and it's like oh my god you know after after all last night's fun it's like eh, people are just going Aah. so it's fun around here here we go <laughs> So yeah, so I'll be back with an, with another report in a little while. So here's some of the masks that this one gentleman was making. Actually, absolutely beautiful pieces of work. And of course, they had stuff for Kiss fans, even though really Kiss is n has nothing to do with uh, what Days of the Dead is about. But you know since Ace was there. But here's some of the artwork that was presented. Hey people, it's me. I didn't have any time to to do another post earlier. It has been a very long day. I've been, uh, you know, I actually started signing free autographs uh, to help out uh, my fellow person, uh, Derek, because he was having trouble. He actually came to the convention uh, with very little money, and he didn't have enough money to pay for his hotel room, and he thought that he was going to be doing better. It's actually been pretty slow at this convention. There are... There isn't a lot of people who are actually out uh, in the vendor room. I'll show you. Take a look at this. Yeah, this is uh, later in the day, but um, it has been incredibly slow. I started giving out uh, free autographs, and, you know, anyways, I'll catch you later. In comparison, uh, the uh, main actor's uh, room was doing very well. You had uh, lots of fans crowded up. Uh, in there to go see uh, their favorite actors and the actors were charging f 40 50 20 dollars a piece for autographs and people were just buying them up uh, unfortunately you know because uh, you know, when they finally got back to us, you know, there was just nothing, nothing there. I mean, you know, people, when I was uh, giving out free autographs, they said, well, I don't have any money, you know. And, uh, you know, the only thing that, uh, you know, helped uh, Derek was the fact that he was raffling off a poster for Midnight Matinee Psycho which uh, people were buying uh, raffle tickets at one dollar a piece and they were just saying okay yeah I'll, I'll take a raffle ticket so anyway so we managed to do that anyways yeah haven't had had a lot of time to actually go and uh, see the celebrities I ran into Ari uh, Lehman last night uh, in the hallway and ran into Mark Payton uh, this morning uh, he was having breakfast with some people and said hello and 
you know, just just not a lot. I mean, you know, talked to Michelle Shields, uh, talked to a couple authors and that, and you know, uh, the um, celebrity uh, area has just been nuts. I mean, I w- would go to go to the bathroom, and I'd just be it would just be wall to wall people going through there. So, you know, it's it's funny. But, you know, with the economy, you know, it's like uh, people would be uh, going to get the celebrity autographs and, you know, it would be like the way that they had this worked out, the vendors is way at the end, so we didn't, we didn't get a lot there. But, you know, still I'm happy I got a chance to, uh, you know, talk to a few fans, you know. Make a f- few more listeners for the show, and I was able to help Derek, so that's, you know, that's a good deal. Alrighty, well, I will uh, talk to you later because uh, I've got to sit here and watch the table, and that Derek's uh, doing uh, an independent uh, panel. And uh, Wayne's uh, over at the costume contest is uh, son's dressed up as Victor Crowley and is in the costume contest. Alrighty, well, I'll catch you later. One of the best things about coming to this convention was actually meeting my crew. One of the more amusing things was seeing all these kids dressed up as like Leatherface and Jason and stuff. Wayne's kid went through three costumes. It was amazing. And, of course, you know, running into uh, Wicked Beard, who is a regular at the convention. I want to send out a special shout-out to Michelle Shields, who hung out with me during the convention. That was wonderful. You know, I really appreciate it. You're an incredible person, Michelle. I just wanted to say that. Well, it's uh, Sunday. I'm getting ready to head out and going to go catch the uh, transport and head home. It has been a very busy uh, weekend for me. I'm going to be happy to get home and spend the 4th of July basically sleeping. (laughs) Alrighty. Well, convention didn't go exactly (coughs) as great as we wanted, but you know, it had its moments, so I can't complain. Alrighty, well, I've got to catch a nice uh, 10 hour flight home, and uh, I'll catch you on the Eric Morris Project. I'll see you later. <laughs>